Okay guys, two more videos on this nail video series. Now, let's talk about the actual nail. Part of my haul, I also purchased nails. I've already done my hands, I've already done like a nail kit and I put on press on nails and let me show you the press on nails that I used and the three sets that I purchased. This is the, this case here, uh, all my nails, two of them I purchased them from Amazon and the other one I purchased from a Nail Couture and I'll show you more information on that. So this case here came from Michelle Nails from Amazon and I'll show you a picture of that. What I did was I got a little ahead of myself instead of showing you the actual package and how it came, I started digging it out with Hello Kitty stickers. I just get carried away whenever I see something I can decorate. So. I did that. Now let me show you inside. The actual Michelle, these are gel nail tips, meaning that they're not acrylic nails, they are gel nail tips. They're very soft. These are stiletto and they're very soft, um, softer than an acrylic nail would be. So this is the stiletto shape. I also got a mint shape. And again, this is also gel nail tips. See how soft they are? They're like, they're almost fake. They're almost kid-like. These are the almond shaped nails. Okay. I also purchased another set of almond shaped nails. These are from Enel Couture. These are what they're calling the one, two, three, go nails. Purchased them from enailcouture.com. Again, these are gel nail press on nails. And these are also like an almond, like short almond nails. Okay. The reason why I got press on nails, these are all press on nails. They're not nail tips. If when you go to the salon, you notice that when you're gonna get your nails done, they're gonna glue nail tips and they glue it like way at the end of your nail. They'll glue it at, way at the end of your nail. These are not it. These are press on, meaning that they're gonna cover completely from your cuticle all the way to as long as the nails are. And the reason why I got them was because I'm starting. I don't know how to shape. I'm barely learning how to use my nail drill, my hand files. So I need as much help as I can get. and with my knowledge right now and my experience i need press on nails because they're pretty much already preformed. you're going to color them if you want and you're set that's why i got these gel press on nails the other reason why i got gel nails and not acrylic nails is because they're easier to soak off i'm very rough when i'm removing my nail tips and using just acetone to soak them off especially these are just gonna make it that much easier and I can have healthier nail beds. That is the reason for that. So let's talk about what this is. So what I did was just like I got on another video, the Metalons Poly Gel Nail Kit. They come with forms and I already sized them. I already knew what number was for each finger and I put those away. I did the same thing with these. Thumbs were going to be number five. So I know that these are number five. I know that these are for the thumbs. Seven was pointer, number six is middle, six and a half ring, and then nine is pinky. So I put these, I'm not sure if you can see them very well. It's actually numbers here. You can see a five, and you can see a six and a half here. Here you can see the six. And here is the seven, and then here is the nine for pinky nail. So I already know that this goes on my pinky nail. And the ones that I put like this, you have to be very careful. These are very light nails, <clears throat> very staticky. I ended up separating them because I noticed that every time I would open it, some nails would even get stuck here on the lid. And then you're like, okay, what number was this again? I need this guy because the numbers are so small. I mean, sometimes I'm second guessing myself. And since these are very cheap nails and you can barely, 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 barely see the number. So just to get like one of these, there's a number here, but what number is it? So this is a number five. 
but I need this guy because it's like tiny, 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 tiny. I need so much light and this guy to see the number. So that is one set of nails. The other set, they all look the same. These little, these are almond shaped nails and they have this little number. They all have a red circle with a number. These are the almond nails. So I know that number three, these are for my thumb. Number eight is my pointer finger. Number six is my middle finger. And then I have number seven, which is my ring finger. And then I have number nine, which is my pinky. So I already know which ones they are and all the bags look the same. So for example, this bag does not go with this set. See the difference? I know that all of these bags are the same style of nails. So I wanted to keep them uniform in this way. So now lastly, these little sackies. These are the e-nail couture. These are the one, two, three go nails. And I have my little sheet sheet here. These are also almond short nails. And again, I numbered them. And I have my different little baggies here. I'm gonna need a more sturdier nail tray to kind of separate my nails. So all of these are uniform. They look the same, hence like these all look the same. So I know that all of these, depending on the number, I know which press on goes for what finger, okay? Also, a, another good thing uh, with having these nails already separated is that you don't have to continue to measure and see which one is the correct size. You have them separated, you know which nail goes with what, so you've already done pretty much the longest part, if you will, done. And I wanted to save time, I wanted to separate the D three different style of nail, press on nails I have, and I already have them numbered, so that is all covered for me. And that is, uh, to me, that saves me a lot of time, especially when I'm trying to learn and I don't want to be making mistakes here. So I have three different types of nails. They're all press on nails. They're all gel nails. So they're easier to soak off with just acetone. So there you go. Another thing is that I have such small hands that I don't really, these are for like the big, see here in the actual tray, you can actually see that this had number one, number two, number three. I was able to remove them and I have them all in here. I received this awesome little bag from Happy Meal I received. I put all of the nails that I don't need in here. But not only that, I also separated them and I said almond short nails number two. I was able to separate all of them. And I put like this one, two big stiletto nails. I got them all in one. And then these are the e-nail couture. I kept them all in one and these are the ones that are too, too big. These belong in these here. And then the rest that are loose, these are actually the stiletto nails, which are down here. So that's what I did. I didn't throw them away, but I want to keep them. Maybe, you know, when I have a girlfriend over or someone, we can do our nails together. They have different size uh, nail beds, I'm sure. So I decided to keep them. I'm not going to throw these away. So here's where I'm going to keep my extra nails. And I just love the system I have here. I have all the ones that are too big in here. Okay. And then these, I just make sure I roll them up again and then I just smash them in here. They're not going to get lost. We're not going to get stuck with other sizes. I'm going to know exactly the size I need. I know the different types of nails that they are. And there you go. Ta-da! And I'll keep it all in one container. I do need a bigger container though. Something better. This is my system. This is what I am going to do when I am choosing the different type of nails. So I have stiletto 
and I have almond and short because I don't really want them too long. The nails I have on are the almond shaped nails and these are the one, two, three gold nails from emailcouture.com and those are these nails here. I actually have these on and there is a system to putting these nails on as well. I mean, there's just so much to learn. I also have my handy dandy notes here. And I also took notes on that. Okay. So I even have instructions on the email couture one, two, three, gold press on nails. One of the things I did learn was that when you are going to be using a different nail system, when you're going to be using a kit of some sort for nails, follow the instructions on that kit because there may be different instructions and if they don't work out for you and you do it the way you're just used to doing it, it might not be exactly the same for that specific kit. Always keep the instructions like me. I pretty much throw away the original box. I do keep the original instructions to make sure that I am following their specific instructions. So if something goes wrong, I know that I follow their specific instructions and then at that point I will decide do I contact them or do I just return them for maybe something that will work for me. So there you go. But on the video that I saw for emailcouture.com, I saw that they also had instructions for the one, two, three, go press on nails, right? Which are these. And I wrote down all the steps. So I'm covered that way. I've been writing and learning and viewing and seeing everything that I need for uh, doing my nails. And that is how I got to do these nails. And I absolutely love them. I already have seven days with these nails, so they're ready to come off. And just that's just because I'm ready to try new colors and another type of nail. I do want to try the still little nails now. But these are fine. I can maybe sand them a little bit more, maybe apply a color again. Uh, but these are meant to last you 14 days minimum or more. And they are fine and I am so happy and I didn't spend 40, 50 bucks at a salon. I think they're pretty good, they're not perfect. I can see a lot of imperfections, but they're my nails. I did them and I know that I will do a better job as I go along. You know, I have a lot of trial and errors and practice makes perfect, so. I love these, totally, totally love them. So that's my video, guys. I hope that you enjoy this video let me know how you organize your nails if you do your nails at home tell me what i can learn am i missing anything um i definitely want to try other shapes i don't know about the length even these sometimes i feel they may be a little too long they're also too pointy i find myself uh, hurting myself a lot here especially if i do this because i can do like a like a fist so i hurt myself here i want to try something that's not so pointy uh, and I'll work on the length. I can't really use long, long, long nails because I do a lot of housework as well. But I love these guys. I love, 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 love these. I hope that you love them too. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. Have a great day. Get up, get up.